In our last lesson on emailing, we looked at sending an email. Now, sometimes you won't finish writing your email straight away. You might have to leave somewhere or you might still want to add more. Emailing has a great feature, which is drafts. So let's create an email. We start to write what we would like and we write a whole bunch of stuff and then we realize that we have to go, we can't finish right now, we still wanna look at more things to type in. So now it says we have to discard. So we click discard, but then we decide we don't want to delete it straight away, we'd rather save it and continue editing later. So now instead of clicking up here to delete your email completely, click don't discard. Now, where is our email gone? If you go to drafts over here, it will show you. We have a draft email that we started or we've tapped at the moment as good morning. And that, now this will allow you to continue typing and it will save it here for as long as you like until you click send, then it will leave drafts and it will go into this option here, which is sent items. Going back to inbox, if the person replies, their email will come up here in our inbox window. Another useful thing is to search. If you'd like to look for something specific, you can't find the email, but you know a specific word from it, or you know a specific person who may have sent it, in this box over here, you can just type in the person's name or the keyword that you're looking for, and it will bring up a whole lot of options on emails that include that word or emails that are from that person. So if I just wanted emails from UKZN, I can search, click on the search, and any emails from UKZN or any emails that contain the words UKZN will come up and just click exit search to go back. So with knowing those things, you'll be able to write and send emails as well as attachments. I highly recommend that you use them, especially as an academic, you will need them to communicate with potential students or clients. So that is emails, I'm sure you can see why they are very useful and I'm sure you'll be using them a lot in the future.